actually. It was really hard for them to deal with, and Croak was just doing Croak things. Uh, I think that is... Yeah, 2-1, right? Yeah, that's 2-1. Hell yeah. Alright. The Grand Finals. Oh, man. Uh, PGS versus the Krona Cuties 2.0. So we're about to see. I think Metal Stress got to the bedroom. It could be. This is a long haul, dude. This is a long, long haul. Alright, last match. And then we still have the 1v1 Grand Finals. So we'll see, dude. We'll see. Nada. So waiting for them to get ready to roll. Hopefully they're fresh to trot. Let's see here. Hopefully they're not too cold from sitting and chilling. They may have been watching the whole time, ready to fight. Who's six guy? He's in there. He's about to hit three thousand. Mister three thousand, Bernie Mac. <laughs> Look at that man go, dude. Yeah. What's the prize pool? Uh, I believe. What is it? Uh, it's just for this weekend. So I think it's what a hundred. No, that was the Iron Man tournament. I don't know what the prize pool is. Let me look it up. So I'm not gonna lie, it didn't wholly concern me. <laughs> I'm just here to cast, baby. Uh huh. Uh huh. This thing's bugged. Can I have my mouse back? Appreciate you. Uh huh. Thank you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, so base prize plot is two fifty for the tournament, and the prize plot is depending on the number of entrants, with each team contributing thirty dollars. And then the Iron Man 1v1 was $100 base prize pod plus $5 for every entrant that was involved. There's 26 attendees. Uh, I don't know how many teams that is. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, there was eight teams. So, uh, not bad. Decent for a weekend. Yep, 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 yep. Just like the FGC, which I think he was uh, trying to emulate, which is good. Actually, a lot of people still wanted to come in and fight and throw down. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I's a big fan. Shows there's still interest. Shows there's still people that want to throw down. So ready for this grand finals to drop. Mmm. Proster Stro and Jita versus Waste of $20. Um, I already forgot who's on the team. I just remember $20 because I always see $20. Uh, crap. I'll get back to you on that. Hold on. I can literally look it up. One sec. <laughs> Peace Sprout. And it's supposed to be fake Korean, but I think it's Catchy Tails that took his spot. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm going to eventually remember. How am I not tired? Because I'm enjoying myself. I had a nice little meal. I hydrate regularly. Mm. And also I'm saving my energy to go play some spell break. I think that's what I'll do. Have you seen Westworld catchy? That's ogre. <laughs> Did I tinker around with the OBS filters? No, I didn't mess with my OBS filters. I actually just messed with my mic, the bass mic, because I'm using a Blue Yeti. So I have different settings on the back of it, and that's about it. And of course, you have your gain, so you can actually make it a lot quieter or a lot louder, etc. Um, and otherwise, they have different settings of how they pick up sound. So I just changed something there. There we go. There we go. Back to normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I had a, a little bit of money to burn. So I was like, man, I could get a new camera for the stream or a new mic. Well, I'm going to talk a lot more than they see me. Oh, my bad. All right, so I'm going to talk a lot more than they see me. So I had opted to buy a new mic. So, oh, we got to start it. They're actually starting to get it ready. They're not in the lobbies yet, so we'll chill on that note. All right, so it's going to be a uh, Blackstone Arena Day. We're using Mako's older tool because it kind of fits what I need. Because they're using the Discord bot in there, but I just show you what they have. They're actually doing a lot of day maps now today. It's crazy. Before they didn't, and then Jeter and Ketchy are reserving. Jeter's team, PJS, are reserving Taya for two bands, and Ketchy's team is reserving Jamila for two bands. You have a straight up hand me down five dollar mic. <laughs> I mean, hey, the struggle's real. When you're young and you ain't got no money, you take what you can get. Oh no, she undercut the dominating in League of Legends. I mean, you you go to work and you come home, bro. Feels rough, dude. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, they did. Yes, sir, they did. And just... Actually, no. It was about two-round difference in the last set. Two to one. Very, very close, though. Very, very, very close. It is uh, mildly unfortunate it broke down that way, but... They played a little bit better. Maybe they drafted a little bit better. But their aggression was, whew, they were running it. They were running it. They came out of the gate hot. All right, Corona Cuties are going to bat Eva Older for their first ones. I'm trying to stop uh, some really strong picks, delay damage, heal over time, as well as probably the uh, rewind that uh, Prost has been using because it has been accelerating cooldowns. So the cooldowns are coming up a lot faster, which is throwing off their timing overall. A very subtle effect. It's not something that you catch immediately, but you feel it. This is grand finals, my guy. Honestly, the cuteness is being carried hard by Ketchy. <laughs> Ketchy, 9 out of 10. That's near perfection, dude. Yeah, we at the end, bro. End of the light of the tunnel. Nine hours later. Who's losers? Uh, Corona's looters, losers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corona cuties losers. So I believe they have to reset the bracket and then win again if we're doing it fighting game style. So they got to win two, then win two mole. And by the way, reserve picks? I already said them. Ah, you want a reminder. Uh, PJS reserve tire for two bands, which is already up now. So the character is viable to be banned. Um, but they have two picks to go through first. So it's easily get the character through. And uh, Corona Cuties decided to reserve Jamila. And first picks will be Pesty and Iva. Iva. Oh, uh, killing it. Iva's been a really strong pick so far. Oh, never mind. So I got the news. Lebnix and Waste are tired, so they're not going to actually do the... Uh, Grand Finals of the 1v1 except tomorrow, so I might try and catch that. I don't know. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So yeah, never mind. This will be the last stream of today. So keep your energy, keep your readiness. But they're going to do it tomorrow. All right, PJS versus uh, Corona Cuties 2.0. I'm not typing all that. I'm too lazy. It's Grand Finals. All right, put the stream stamp because I'll get the videos up. 
no second tourney. The tourney's tomorrow. They're going to do that while they're fresh. Which, honestly, I kind of I respect that. Because they did the side tourney. It went OT. Then it's... Uh, postponed it so they finished it after but there's a lot of mental mental fortitude for these guys they've been going hard for hours from picks and bands to execution and making the plays we might as well dumb it a, uh, double a limit double a limit then all right hmm Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just give me a time, Faye. I'll be around for the tourney, most likely. Most likely. I say most likely. Probably. We'll, we'll see. Mm, you want to try and enjoy some NA tourneys? All right. I'm going to flame you for your reaction time, even though you have, like, 200 ping. All right, they're looking to go for a ban. Oh, man. Pestle's Ferris is going to be good. That's a lot of bleed off health if he has judgment with moths. I got to be careful about that. I got to be really careful about that. But that's all right. I'll flame the game for getting hit by bullshit AoEs. <laughs> hey, man. I don't know. Sometimes my hands just don't want to do it. What I really need to do is probably warm up. Like, actually go, like, do calisthenics. And then be good to go. I like to keep my house really cold. And this shit is marvelous. It's great for sleeping and chilling. All right, so they do have a third ban. You can't see it, but I'll let you know. PJS decided to ban Paloma to undercut the Eva Paloma pressure, and they undercut Rook for the momentum for PJS's side. I don't think... Oh, are they actually going for the damage amp? Double damage amp? Armor break with Judgment? And Stro, if Stro's on uh, Vera, she's been using Synergy? He might. That's a lot of damage, you know. I'll be careful, you know. That's how you get killed, you know. That's 47% more damage. What, 25% or 20... Yeah, 25% for Rook. And then 22% off Synergy. You want more turnies and also Tina to play with? I'd love to play. I like casting, too. So, I'm actually... I'm pleased with both outcomes, honestly. I get to do my favorite thing, run my mouth, and watch you guys fight. Oh, my God. It's glorious, bro. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Right going to blossom. We'll be the last picks here today. When is Niwa making a comeback? I've heard news of that, man. He was playing a game. I think he was playing Apex. I believe so. Stay tuned for more tourneys. If you want to join, please do. If you want TJ, I want some TJ. Who's TJ? Or what's TJ? <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, what's the message here? All right, grand finals. Yeah. That was a T Sports, uh, uh, Esports TJ. I remember that name. Oh. Where we drop and squat. That's what Peace Bro is saying. <laughs> Apparently, they're doing swaps for teams. Nani? Hmm. News to me. Then again, I just literally made a subreddit to do a slap and upvote for a uh, Favis thingy. I am not a. I'm not a subredditor or a Reddit Reddit tier. I I actually don't know what the word I should be going for with this. I'm going to just stop, okay? Stop me when I'm behind. I'm already behind. I get it. <laughs> All right. Grand flipping finals. Uh, Actually, Favy, just to make sure that I'm correct on my assumption, loser's team has to reset the bracket, so they have to win twice. Or are you uh, observing? What is that? Honoring that kind of... Uh, Notion. Yeah, lose team wins two best of threes to win. Alright. There you go.
And there you go. I wonder why they're keeping track of it, though. That's an interesting thing. Maybe it pops off. They're like, yeah, we're resuming development of the game. You suddenly see, like, a lot of money start pouring in. Tournaments, organization, more people. You're like, oh, yeah, hold on. Uh, it'd have to be a lot of money, though. I think they are developing another project. So I wonder where that money's coming from. Uh, maybe it's all from Battle Right and Battle Right Royale. They had to spend a lot of assets over Battle Right Royale. No, same assets. I don't know. <laughs> we just need a sponsor for this game. It would be great. Yep, Synergy. Three. Show like some numbers, bro. He's like, I'm a numbers man. Trying to give Rygon a lot of shields. Lawbender with Freddy. Waste of $20. Ooh, he doesn't have zeal though. Oh, putting a lot of damage on Peace Sprout. That little extra burst was all he really needed. Stro is actually pretty healthy, though. As well as the Rygon. Slaps the shield on for him with the zeal. The zeal with the fresh appeal. Oh, huge damage. Oh, they almost didn't get the orb, but they're going to lose the Eva. That synergy paying out for the extra burst. That was probably like 34 damage right there for that space. 22%. 22% off 28. He's using red space. Oh, they lose Blossom, too. Uh. Mm, mm, yeah. Yeah, this isn't fair. <laughs> no, I think he overcommitted for the orb. He was underestimating how much more damage it would take with the 22% damage reduction. The synergy right here is going to be super clutch. It takes 15% to 22% damage reduction healing in, uh, intake as well as damage, uh, damage taken increase. So Rygon starts hitting for like 34 damage, 35 damage. It's like plus five or plus six, right? Man, first game's always data. <laughs> yeah, Peace Sprout took a lot more damage than he was expecting. The numbers are a little higher. Three, two, one. Prost has also been playing like an absolute, absolute mad lad on his Rygon, though. He has actually been a terror. All right, catch him with the button. Check on the E. Got an end cap. It's a quick strike. Uh, I don't think the MT was worth I think he took more damage than he got for Jeter. That 15 damage uh, smack back. Ooh, nice. Oh my god, he's probably going to space on this. He heard his... Yeah, well, maybe not. He's backing off. I thought he was going to follow suit onto the uh, Blossom. He does. He does. I was ready. He just did a whole cooldown later. Alright, cooking him, cooking him. Let's go, Peace Sprout. Throw the Flamethrower. He kited out, but he does get the parry hit. Waste of $20 trying to cover. Ends up getting the man stunned. EX base, push him out. Red team's a little bit in danger, though. Ah, uh, bam. Oh, he was trying to get the follow-up with the bug explosion. He's about to make that man walk. Ooh, Al Capone drops. Was not able to stop anything. And with the undercut of synergy, reduced the damage 22%. That's quite a lot for, what, 120-some damage out. Oh, dead. Slow-mo gave him a little bit more time to prep the E. 2-0 so far. Yeah, dude, Prost is playing like an absolute mad lad. He's been playing like this all day with Rygon. He's like, hey, you let my Rygon through? Shame. <laughs> Prost has been going wild on his, uh, on his Rygon, dude. He's not amateur, sure. Oh, my God. You're like a rig you. Your puns are awful. You're definitely a father. Somewhere <laughs> you're looking for your kid, bro. Three, <laughs> Dad puns. Alright, 2 0 so far inside of PJS. I really engage. Hit the E, but baited out by the zeal and the slow. No counter. Has to get up out of there. Hits the counter. He's losing the trade so far. Strode designed to play it safe just to get out of there. Uh, zeal chop. Look at how tanky that man is. Oh, he stepped into the boom boom, though. Now he's taking some true damage. Oh, Jamila's just cutting. Frosted 2 v one is still at, oh, nearly at full HP. Didn't get caught by the bun check. Mm, Al Capone comes out. So is the j -Dolt. Is he going to M2 out of it? He does, leaving it with the bug. The bug took the nice sacrifice. No one ever cares about the bug. Oh, my God. And Stro was just like, hey, come back here, little Shadow Blade. Come back here, little Shadow Blade. Catchy tried to drop the EXQ to block it. Meanwhile, Eva and... Uh, Rygon over here duking it out on the far right side, but we know how that went. HP leads are a little different. Ooh, oh, almost got the M2. 
Oh my god, Zazil. <laughs> Fuck the bugs. <laughs> you leave that bug alone. All I wanted to do was love. <laughs> yeah, this team is supporting him very well. Oh man. Yeah, this team is thick. Sure, the Exile Prince. I like how he's rocking the Rygon title. Speaking of which, someone actually told me Rygon's dad was like uh, on the other map, the Kuna map. It's up there. I was like, dude, that's crazy. The motherfucker looks like Guan Yu, by the way. I learned something new today. 3 0 so far. Let's see those adjustments. Ooh, <laughs> true damage already? Yo, chill. Yikes. Careful, P Sprout. Uh, he doesn't have recast, does he? No. Yeah, he's got to walk that out. Ew. Never mind. Synergy. Waste of twenty dollars. Just flabbergasted. He's gonna let the round go. And yang, daddy. Yikes. And they have a long game to go if they want to win this too. Yo, he caught that damage so fast, like that. They smoked even for just staying still too long. He does have a recast. Oh, he didn't take it. Okay. Okay. He opted not to take it. <laughs> Somebody grab a broom. You think it's going to be a reverse sweep? I don't know about that one, fam. Or he has two MS, <laughs> two MS or either or. It could be both. It could be both, dude. Three, two, one. <laughs> Stream keeping me lit. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Misses the E for the easy engage. He's going to have to walk up. Burns the Q. Stro actually could have got caught with that uh, Phantom Cut. He was standing on the Boom Bloom. He could have forced a counter. Ooh, two-man panic. Got some big damage. Frost actually taking a lot more damage this turn around. Eva is actually playing that exchange really good. Peace Sprout adapting. Uh-oh. Let's see it. Let's see it. Fishing for something. Didn't get the panic. Try to get that inconspicuous, inconspicuous bug to float around. Al Capone. Quieter with the mind control. Bug on the face. A little face hugger from Xenomorphs. Mmm. Look at that zeal. Look at that zeal. All right. Frost is trying to walk into people with the Q and get that parry recast. He's still going back in. No Q, no fear. Making that blossom wall. Forced to space early. Al Capone's back out again. Yo, Eva Burns uh, makes so much meter, dude. Her meter gain is ridiculous. Ooh. Caught the spell break. Jumped over the greens, too. Farish actually is going to start trading really effectively against the Jamila. I thought he was going to die. $20 is playing that like a god. Oh, they steal the orb off the shuriken bounce. <gasps> Yo. Proster walks in front. Body block. He says, get down, Mr. President. GJ's HP was so low. Doesn't get the ult off. Gets nuked at the end of it. Oh. Uh, can they save him? Varish gets tanking it. Gets a nut to the side of the head. Oh, my. That was so close. Rygon almost got his ult off. Yo. Red team wins the round. Yep. Also, someone get the broom. <laughs> I think they have an answer back. That was really good use of cooldowns. Peace Sprout's making use of his U-turn. So as soon as Blossom throws down the Boom Bloom, he jumps over a target. They're slowed. They can't walk out of it. They have to either commit a cooldown or take the stun. Vragon has an option of using M2 as long as he hasn't burned it already or if he can get three autos really quickly. But even by then, the Boom Bloom will go off. So he has to have M2 ready. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going to adapt. Three, You're going to see it. Two, one. These guys are actual machines, dude. They've been playing well all day. Ooh, he tried to use the zeal proc. Doesn't get it while the immaterial state for Jamila's counter. Ooh, excellent counter reactions. Frost getting out of there. He's almost getting cooked. That slow blossom effect is really rough. All right, trying to catch a frame one. Got caught in the button check. Ooh, orb is theirs. Blue team getting the orb with an excellent well-placed EXE. All right. Ooh. Stro's ready for it. Yo. Not good. Not good. Al Capone. Uh, she's dead. She's dead. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't good. He rolled the clip, too. I respect that, though. Oh, man. Get caught by the Ryujin Kinokure. It says GG's. That's a best of three, yeah? They have to win this uh, next one. 
Eva over rest, yeah. I was like, not good, not good. Attack ended. Together we are victorious. Yeah. <laughs> she was like toxic. Oh yeah. All right, that they know, that they know. What up, Shoto? Shoto, son, I'm gonna make you proud. Oh man, I don't know if you guys have heard the Endeavor rap from Daddy Fast Naps. That thing is clean. Corona Cuties 2.0. All right, that's just a final match, final point. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Super easy, barely an inconvenience. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be dope, guys. All right, new map is Daharin. The Knights on the battleground, and uh, PJS has decided to again once uh, reserve Taya. And Corona Cuties have decided to reserve Shen Rao. Meow. Meow. Yeah, do you just see mostly reserves Taya? I'm not 100. Oh, wait, hold on. I said reserve and I clicked these. One sec. They actually actually their first jam uh, jams. Bands. One's going to be Jamila, another one's going to be Eva. And I missed Eva. Get rid of the boomers. You got this. <laughs> oh, no. Oh man, what up, Shoto? If they not still get a broom, but for the opening in the janitorial department. <laughs> yeah, we have opening in a janitorial department. They can clean up the shoe performance. Oh man. All right, next band will be Ulrich, trying to undercut that high performance anti engage burst support slash melee. And they're going to ban Crow because Crow is just in Trollsy. Uh, they get to save that pick for two bands, so they can either bait for it and build a comp around it, or use it there to mind game, and that's what the reserve is for. Also for one tricks, but you know how that goes. Whew. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so they can leave it there, not pick it, or use it, however. So since they reserve Shen Rao, they're actually going to use Shen Rao due to his high uti high utility and hard punish window. They can actually put a Bako in. And if his Bako is going to be Jeter, and if it was Proster, it's usually Rygon. And then Stro has been the range so far. But he might actually go support. And he's gone. Yeah, I think he's used Pestilus. And who else did he use? Blossom. Oh yeah, Jeter's been running Baco pretty much all day on this tourney. Ew, and the tire reservation they actually brought it out. Ooh, cool. And they're gonna use Pestilus. Waste of twenty dollars on Pestilus. I think it's gonna be Peace Pride on uh, Shinral. They banned out Ketchy's Croak. He might actually go. No, he won't. does. He have a Jamila? Maybe Freya. Hmm. Yeah, Prost is going to be on Taya. Str I think Stroh is going to go support. Alright, they will have the third ban, so I'll let you know what they're going to be. So what are they going to ban? Wait, they haven't banned. They could ban Croak here. For Jeter's team. Yeah, probably Blossom. Or his older. Yeah, they banned older. Older and Croak. So, uh, PJS banned Croak, and, uh, Corona Cuties banned Older. Because, uh, Stroh's Older, uh, was popping off. And he was using Rewind on the White M2? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, they actually gonna go for Lucy. His Lucy's pretty good, too. He's been panicking the smack out of people last game. So...
Lucy against Shen. This will be interesting to see. Rook on Waste, yeah. He's going to probably go Crack and Crumble to help deal with the neutral because they have a, a really strong neutral, but he's going to go in there. But we'll see. We'll see, man. They actually have a lot of uh, tool to option, uh, tool to answer their ability to get around. And Lucy's going to have to be immaculate on WSDing and rolling. I don't. Uh, you might still see the ult. You might still see the ult. Uh, he's ulted some really good ones uh, last couple matches. So we'll see. We'll see, dude. All right. I forgot to turn the music off. I've been mean, just having that in the background. Keeps me in my trance. Hoochie <laughs> mama. All right. I think I got a good enough zoom so I can keep track of it. Eh, yeah. All right, perfect. Hmm. And he went cold wind. I'm going to need that. And that uh, CC is going to be really good for locking people down. <laughs> Stroke went the bonus damage on Panic. He bought the Panic Flask, the mess out of people. Bonus heal on him too. And the weaken. Help for trades. Oh, snap. They actually put Ketchy on the Rook and wasted $20 on Pasty. Ooh. Oh, what the? What the flip? Is that double Q on Lucy? I think he just traded for it. Yo. He was going double uh, two pen, uh, E on... Blah, 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 blah. Two E rights. I could not talk just then. I was like, double panic. E. <laughs> I was lagging, bro. I'm lagging. All right, I'm good. Three, two. One, fight. All right. Game point for PJS. Nice cold wind locking them in place. Managed to get out in time. Wasn't able to layer the CC so he can catch him into the second part of the Shenra Yi. That 12, 12 damage, 24 total. Oh, kiting out the eye wall. Good awareness. Yo, yo, he footsied that perfectly. That man ain't scared. Mm, mm. He's trying to stay on catchy. Ah! Frost chill. Frost is at it. Oh, great EXQ. Catch you a little bit behind on the Q timing. Oh, got mind control. Boom. Yo, Waste Twenty Dollars had a great EXE right there. Oh, he doesn't have space to jump over that and take the orb. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna go for the jump pad. I think he thought he got that. He missed that a little bit. Oh, going jumping in. Uh. All right, got Lucy all the way out in Narnia right now, but that's all good, though. Ooh, drop the ult. Try to body block. Let's go. Keep him in there. Dead. Oh, he almost caught $20, too. Yo, that ult drop was immaculate. Ooh, caught the stun, but he's good. Shield's going to tank most of it. $20 trying to do his best to bug the man. <laughs> Get it? Bug the man. Oh, nice. With the recast as well. Oh, next, next level excellent spin in the space. Next excellent. All right, all right. He's dead, though. Yo, $20 is playing really well just then. Drop the ult. And recast it. Oh. All the power of the dragon god clapped in the side of the head with an axe. Team wins the round. Now that was easy, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, welcome to the high level, bro. Yeah, it was a minor misplay. He uh, burned his Q a little uh, too late on the tire boomerang and got hit on the back end of it. And then Stro walked forward, dropped the ult. That was it. Yeah. Dude, you should have seen the positioning on that. Proster actually just barely footsied the space off Catchy. He needs to land the E first before he goes in. The E will help him guarantee a lot and also give him a little bit of a Three, DPS buff. Two, one, fight. Let's just play me saying welcome to high level. No, I wasn't talking about that. I was talking to Shiny. <laughs> He was talking about how they uh, put together their combos to make sure to maximize Lucy damage. I right, then welcome to high level, baby. <laughs> oh, jammed him into the wall. Let's go. Uh, he's on position for the orb, though. He can get the E. No, he doesn't get it. And he's not able to do any meter gaining off his rampage. Nice. At least got the M2 off so they couldn't follow up. Ooh. Oh, yo. That EXQ was high. All right. Didn't get any damage. The infest too strong. 90% damage reduction. Oh, he's in the jump pad. Thank you, Royale. Here we go. Mm. What's the follow-up? Oh, hit the counter. But put him asleep. Jams him into the wall. 
forces the M2. Yo! No! The M2 snare on guaranteeing a little bit more damage from the ult, but the infest still saving lives. Waste $20. He's like, man, I have to do everything to keep you alive, and it's not going to be enough. Yo. All right. She's going to try to get that kill. We looking. We looking. Waste of $20 being the caretaker over here. And turns it and gets the kill on the Baco with overextension. Yo. Yo, $20 playing out of his mind. He's like, yo, not, not, like, not like this. Blue team actually still managing to steal the orb, though. Ooh, they can probably get the... Ooh, catchy down. All right, 2v2. Both the melees are dead. Tail is all the time. Ooh, what a reaction. And he's still footy to two. Uh, oh, both of the boomerangs get blocked by the Q. All right, Shinrao. You got to box with this scooty little tribal landlady. Oh, missing the M2. That's clutch. That's going to be crucial. Missing the EXE2, and he didn't even fake for it. Maybe $20 was reading for the the wiggle. He thought he was going to wiggle back and forth. Yo, if Ty had ult right right there, that'd be death. Oh, missed. Yo, that's punishment, though. Yep, Stro drops it again. Drops the big old old poison flask. Oh, Peace Sprout trying to interrupt, uh, push Lucy out of the zone. Interrupted by the wind bomb by Proster. He was well aware. <laughs> Blue team wins the round. Big party with the gang tonight. Yo, he ate so many ultis, dude. Yeah, that that wind bomb interrupt. God damn. God damn, forty seven. <laughs> all right check the stat lead oh yo he's leading in cc on tire as well along with 1500 damage yeah cold wind and uh fresh air or breath of air Bruh. cold wind is a real real money maker for there locking people in place Three, that's a fading snare two, it only lasts like a little bit less than a second but that means they can't move god <laughs> can't move boy all right 2-0 right now and they're up on match point uh ooh. All right. Nice extension on the haste. Trying to isolate waste twenty dollars. Catch you got caught in the counter. Uh, I'm sorry. Got caught in the corner in the wall. You got burp, bro. Ooh. Yo, space landing just perfectly to space him out and snare. These team recovering each other so well. Got tire front lining like a madman. Get caught on the edge of the EX, uh, E. Mind controlled into an EXE. Oh my god. Oh. They got a good punish on Froster. Showing that she's so hard to catch. Bold is a little bit off on Catchy. Yes, red team getting the orb. That's the momentum they need. Uh. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Boom, mm, the space good. Interruption. Jammed into the hole. Alright, he used the infest to save uh what was it? Catchy Tails on the rook. But Shin Rao's gonna die. They're gonna lose their range. And Ty is out here just scootying, bro. Nyong. Oh. Oh, Jeter tried to get onto the old jump pad to uh, stack the CC. Got caught with three hits of the old. $20 was nailing the side of the head of that Ty. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh. Walked into it with the block. No escape. Look at me try to space. No chance. That's rough, though. When people know that you're just trying to get out of there as a rook, that's life. That's life, bro. <laughs> 25 to life. You ain't getting out. <laughs> I ain't catting them out, but that's just rough. Wait, what is this? The corner of death? <laughs> yes, this is your sentence. <laughs> Reported for bully. <laughs> I like this team, though. They're playing really well. They fought really well to get up here at this point. Three. Two, Never counted out. Fight. Never counted out. But this is long end of a set, and they have to win two sets to even take it back. Uh, uh. All right. Didn't get the E land off. Got the counter procs. Uh, tries to jump on him. Gets the panic. Caught out of it. Uh, burns the Q. Didn't really have it for the the Baco. Ooh, he tries to walk under for the footsie. Hits the Q. Yeah, ties on the back foot. Run for your life, girl. All right, he tried to use the EXM2 on the short wall to force a, a stun setup. That was smart. He actually gave him the breathing room that he needed. Uh, all right, cool, 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 cool. Oh, they're rallying. This is where he gets that energy. Oh, wow, dude. All right, yo, Catchy's at full HP right now. Uh, catching the EXM2 and wasted $20. Blue Ooh, blue team getting the orb out of the EXE take. Where did they sneak that projectile in? All right, Pestle's got no space. Let's see the follow-up. 
Uh. Oh, didn't get the uh, 30 damage on the ram hit. And almost lost his ult. Actually did lose the ult. The shield didn't tank it. The ult tanked it first. Yo, Pestles get out. Oh, caught with the guaranteed damage with the shield tanked all of the deadly toxic. Jam! Yo, Rook. Why do you seem to be finding these ults, my guy? Feels bad, dude. Let's go, Catchy. I believe in you, though. But the next time you go in, you're probably going to get ulted. I'm going to go ahead and call that now. <laughs> all right. Ooh. Dun ducking under the M2 with the EXQ and still knocking back waste of $20. EX M2. Oh, doesn't catch Rook on it. Yep. I told you, next time you go in, just catch another ult. But the Infest pain in clutch. Now he has no space. They're definitely going to be aware of that. Oh, blue team is actually running this right now. They need a little bit more damage, but everyone's pretty healthy and comparative. Uh, yes. You need that R. Oh, that's... Oh, my God. That's good. That's good. You need... He doesn't have meter. Pestles goes down. That's a great knockback. Oh, gets jammed with another ult. Oh, Shenrao dies. He's got full meter. Go for it. Oh, shut down. The Baku E, the ultimate cuckening. The least could have got the Taya. Blue team wins the round. I'm just so amazingly awesome. Yeah. They also fight either really, really fast tempo, too. <laughs> Prosser is just waiting for people to come to his throne at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. That EXQ under the M2 and still hitting the Pestilus to guarantee some more haste time. Oh, boy. Character's nut. Character's nut. He is running hard on this one. All right. Reverse sweep. Three, Reverse three, sweep. One, it's already midnight one. anyway. We're going to just watch this whole tourney all day. All right. Game and match point. Tournament point for PJS. I don't know if Prosser tried to go for the Q uh, reaction on the Rook space. He didn't get it out. No, he's saving it for his haste. He doesn't matter. He don't sit. I'm not scared. That's all right. Let's go, baby. He doesn't get the uh, E snare to stop Tataya's momentum. Tataya. Red team walks up. Just M1s the orb. Let's go, Ketchy. Got the pressure on. Pestles who managed to reset. He's going to go over the top. Yeah. He's going to go definitely behind his two team members. Double E. Double EXE. Uh-huh. He's trying to get to that tie. Ketchy's definitely putting that focus on. He's definitely keeping an eye on her. Ooh, $20 went after her, too. Try to probably go for the EXM, too. Ooh, jump pads. Thank you, Royale. Mm hmm Blue team's going to get the orb again. Uh, yeah, they got it. Uh-oh. You know what that means. Uh, oh, the end cap. Stopping it all together. Catching it with the two-man M2. Oh, Prosser might die here. They're waiting it out. Oh, he should have threw the boulder a little bit sooner. They actually probably just dropped that kill. If he had dropped the boulder, snared her towards their side of the team, Pestles dies for that. Uh, they dropped that. That's heartbreaking. Yeah, if he threw the boulder where it would push the epicenter up to the top left, it might have gotten that. Uh-oh. Uh. -oh. uh <laughs> Jetstream almost guaranteeing the kill. All right. Nice answer back, Peace Sprout. But that's GG. That was good. They played that really well. Everyone who participated in the tourney. Yo, that kill was so close. Did he not have it on cooldown? Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God, dude. What do you do about that? Oh, my God, dude. GG's, though. GG's. Oh, man. That was fucking amazing to watch, though. Whole way through.